Yamba Dafinone wakes up the next day after her birthday feeling ill. I got different symptoms, um, some chills, headaches, diarrhea, um, temperature, splitting headaches, as I've said, severe chest pains and lower back pains. In all of this, we liaised with the doctor and we decided to test. After testing, the results hadn't come out, I felt worse and decided it was best I checked into IDH. And um, we then went into IDH without my results. While at IDH, um, the treatment, as I said, was good. We were on medication and I stayed there for eight days. I didn't comply with the CDC rules, which was you had to be coughing and breathless. So they were reluctant to take me for testing. She's not convinced the curve of the virus will be flattened soon. I don't understand why when the curve is rising, the government decides it's opening up, okay? What is going to happen is that it is going to keep on rising faster than it would have risen if the government had done a lockdown. Now, the reason the government wants to ease is because of tension in the country, potential tension. Going back to your first question, have they, have they done enough? They hadn't done enough, because if they had done enough, then the funds and the palliatives and the relief measures would have reached the public. I remember um, the um, campaign that was run for our current governor in the state here. It was the most amazing campaign. Why haven't they employed such people to run a campaign to let Nigerians know so they have a buy-in and understand what the virus can cause? We're, we're, we're setting ourselves on for a potential explosion. Let the public know the accredited hospitals they can go to for COVID-like symptoms and where they'll be able to get medication within their locality. The businesswoman is very conscious of her space. Her fear is real. What the illness did to me, um, psychologically, how I felt, I don't wish it on my worst enemy. And as such, I... There's no guarantee I won't get it again. So I'd rather protect myself and I want people, you know, I, I'm not encouraging any visitors. I don't know what they're going to give me. I don't know why I got it from in the first place, you know, and I would rather people just stay far. When I was ill, it was painful. Some people don't have all those symptoms, but you don't want it to happen to anybody. I don't want to repeat it. It's best, you know, I, I play safe. Even though the government is set to gradually ease restriction and movement, Ayamba says she will remain locked in till the country is cleared of COVID-19. Loretta Chiogo, Channels Television News.